President Trump's former lawyer, Jenna Ellis, who defended the president during his efforts to expose fraud in the 2020 election, has accepted a plea deal and agreed to cooperate with the government in the ongoing trials against Trump and his associates. As an attorney who is also a Christian, I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously, and I endeavor to be a person of sound moral and ethical character in all of my dealings. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information, especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. I look back on this whole experience with deep remorse. This is a very sad scene, not even just for Jenna. Regular, regular viewers and listeners to this show know that Jenna is a friend of mine of quite some years now, and she's appeared many times on this show, including immediately after she was indicted. What is sad is not even that she took some deal or other, that she pled guilty to some minor offense, in this case, just one count of, quote, aiding and abetting false statements, a far cry from the RICO charges that the Georgia DA is preposterously attempting to pin on Trump and his lawyers. What's sad is not even that she will now face probation and pay a fine and write a letter apologizing to the state and potentially testify against the remaining defendants up to and including potentially the former president and current GOP frontrunner. What is really sad is the disgusting regime that we are living under. We have long complained about unjust laws and the two-tiered system of justice and the creeping corruption pervading the whole system, certainly the liberal elite. But we have now reached the stage of Stalin-esque show trials. The political opposition prosecuted on bogus charges and made to cry in front of a courtroom and on the big state-backed media and beg forgiveness for the egregious sin of being a lawyer and representing a client, a client who at the time was the duly elected sitting president of the United States and who now would dare to run against the current occupant of that office. What's really sad about the show trial of my friend Jenna Ellis is not even that this is how this whole sorry spectacle is ending. What's really sad is that Jenna's coerced struggle session is only the beginning. I'm Michael Knowles. This is The Michael Knowles Show.